Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of Minecraft Education Edition series uh, tutorial on how to set up a classroom. So, I promised you guys to set up a classroom in this episode, and that's what we're gonna do. So, I made a little boundary already using barriers, uh, borders, not barriers, borders, and these keep your students, you know, inside or outside and they're very useful and they're really easy to use if you are a teacher. So I made an example plot here so you can put a sign down or a board and I'll um, put the music down a little bit because it's kind of loud. Better? All right. Um, so I put a board down and for example you can put this on the board. I don't really like in this version how you edit the board. It's kind of iffy when you press enter you don't see the cursor and it's kind of glitchy but that's because it's in early access I guess and can't blame them for that. So we got like a goal here, build the school building and copy all the details as best as possible. It's just an example. Uh, exercise that they have to do and you can just do that so you'll need to work together and you can read for yourself I guess um, so you can just make like one big plot for the com community or you make like a few smaller plots like I don't know probably a bit bigger than this but maybe you want to restrict them on like a small plot you just Put the borders down and if you're a student you can't pass these borders given they don't have access to commands and such um, as well we have this command that we spoke about last time it's the game rule immutable world and true or false so if we put this for false seemingly nothing is gonna happen for us because we're a teacher all right so Normally, if we're a student, we can't place things in here. We can't like build something. We can't do that because the world is immutable. And we did this so they won't like destroy, say like little example builds. Say like, all right, try to rebuild this building, and you know they can look at it, but they can't destroy it. So we put it on immutable world. An alternative to put it on immutable world is to put deny blocks below where your structure is to just have like tiny spots that are not allowed to be broken for example I'm just gonna put them right below the building or the, the little structure I guess and now students won't be able to break this so I'm gonna just uh, show you that by giving myself a pickaxe or you know I don't need a pickaxe because I'm in creative but so I just remove my own ability world builder false and so I'm not a world builder anymore so I can't destroy this so you say like all right I can destroy the rest how's that because we put it on immutable world didn't we oh no we did it on false so you can see we put it on false so the world is mutable except this area because it has deny blocks Alright, so we can still interact with entities, I believe, on the night block. So let's put an entity down. Where is it? Let's spawn a rabbit, why not? So you can just spawn rabbits on it, so and you can kill them. So even if they have like if you have entities on the deny blocks, you can still kill them. If we put immutable worlds on true. We can't destroy anything, like everything is completely um, immune to us, except entities. Entities will always, uh, uh, always be killable, so you can always kill entities and you do tons of damage in creative. So if you want entities to not be killable, I don't think that's possible in this version yet. But I might figure that out at some point, maybe you can use summon say a chicken or something chicken um, 
right here. And we can't give it a data tag, I don't think, invulnerable. Because on the PC edition you can, but you can't on this this version. So if you take that away, we can spawn a chicken, but it will be just a normal chicken. So blocks will be uh, safe, but entities won't. So keep that in mind. So now these students, let me give this ability again. Um, so I can get into the plot. So I'll just put like a little hole in there so I can get out and in even if I'm not a teacher. So I can't just go over this because now I'm in student mode you could say. If you don't have the ability world builder you won't be able to fly over borders and destroy blocks. So we are in immutable world right? We can't make our own building here like we just um, we have to copy that and we can't change anything here so how do we make it so we can so like in this area we can well we have an amazing allow block and if you dig down you can see I put tons of allow blocks under this plot so all in this plot you can build whatever you want um, basically the allow and deny blocks are overrides on the game rule where is it the immutable world so if this isn't true, um, you can't destroy anything except when you have areas with allow. And the other way around immutable world false, we can destroy everything except where there is deny blocks such as here. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and you understand how to use borders, allows and deny blocks to make a little classroom for yourself that students will not be able to destroy and and plots that students will be able to destroy so let's quickly make this um, plot allowable for players to destroy even if immutable world is true so I put in true now so I can't destroy it so I have to give myself the ability real quick so I can change this so if you have big plots, it's going to be annoying. You have to fill like every single piece and that's going to take a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see how big this area is. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. You can recount that if you didn't catch that, but it's six. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight by six. So we're going to take a map out, so you just go in here, you grab an empty map, uh, you need one inventory slot next to it, you click it and you get a filled map. Now you look at the map, um, there is not a lot of information that's useful on the map, except on the top left here, it will be the position. So you can see the position changes when I cha uh, change my position, uh, that makes sense right? So we see that the numbers go up when we go left and they go down when we go right as well as um, the Z position so that's the, mo the rightmost number is going up when we are going up and down when we are going down. So basically this is the origin point that we want to start our command. So as we remembered our plot was 6 by 8 so 6 in this direction 8 in this direction. So this command is going to be super useful. Fill. It's a lot of a lot to take in, but um, you just use fill. You select the coordinates, and the coordinates are just going to be the relative position to you. So you use these squigglies, or they are called tildes, and you put three of them to select your relative position to you, and it's going to be zero. So you can read this as relatively zero away from you, relatively away zero from you, relatively away zero from you in the x, y and z position. And it's going to be 2 x, y, z. So, or x, y, z, I don't know, I'm, I'm mixing them up. Um, so we remember um, the z is this direction, right? So the z direction is 8 blocks across. The x direction is z blocks across, as you can see, um, 6. The z direction is six blocks across. All right. Um, so what we can do is fill from our 
uh, area so you can leave the zeros out if you don't have if it's just gonna be zero away from you, you can leave them out you don't need them the X as I said is 6 All right, the Y doesn't matter so we're just gonna put a squiggly and the Z is gonna be 8 alright follow me alright then we want a tile name and we want allow blocks alright so we got allow and that's about it you don't really need the rest of the syntax right here so I'm gonna edit one more thing about this command because this would place it on our feet and that would mean this block and this block will get replaced as well I would stand in the allow block but we want the bedrock below it to change in allow so we'll have to change the y to minus 1 and this is relative so if you remember minus 1 which is go down 1 because y just goes up when you go up and down when you go down so that makes a lot of sense right um, so this will do what we're what we think it would do and we hit enter there we go we just filled this entire area with allow blocks and we can see that if we go into this corner there's an allow block right there and there's an allow block right here and everything um, in between that is going to be an allow block so if we just I'm just gonna run a real quick command to delete all the grass blocks six I believe same height and eight don't forget the squigglies because then it will go to an absolute uh, coordinate and that might be like a hundred blocks away and you might like ruin everything so you gotta be very delicate with your typing here um, if you do one thing wrong it can ruin your world and it might just it might just destroy everything so what you do is um, you just back up your world you know you just back up your world and I'll show you how to do that in a bit um, or in the next episode because this episode is running a bit long um, so I'm just gonna do this command right so I made a little mistake earlier but we just gotta do the relative position from our position six blocks to the X four blocks to the Y and eight blocks to the Z and this should clear that area and we did it so you can see the command from earlier uh, place this entire block uh, of allow blocks so we can just change our ability to false oh now we can't now we can't edit anything outside and i accidentally destroyed the border too um, but that's because i mistakenly typed four for my command while i should have actually done two because this is zero one two like relatively two up from that position so yeah you get the idea and now we can just place any blocks in this area except the special blocks that are only for teachers as I think I mentioned last time so I hope you understand um, so far how to use these blocks and how to set up a classroom so I challenge you to set up a classroom for yourself and see if it works and see if uh, your students can't uh, exit this area and if they can't destroy your builds so that was it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned. And I'll see you next time where I will teach you how to um, probably back up your worlds and also like use set fixed inventory slots, right? Um, so you can you know, give your students all fixed um, things like portfolio, map, and the camera so they don't have to browse through the inventory and get those things out of the inventory and by the way portfolios can't be found in the creative inventory anyway and if you still want your students to be able to look in their portfolios and you want your students to be able to make screenshots um, you'll have to give them those um, items and you also don't want them to destroy those items so yeah I will show you next time Thanks for watching, see you next time.